Hi, my name's Jason, and I record and play live under the name Dialectic. Hi, I'm Marcus Leo, aka VJ Portal, and I do live visual performance. I've been doing music since since the early 90s really. So um, guitar and stuff like that to start with and then you know gradually got more and more into the electronic side of things. Yeah. I was um, very into the uh, the rave scene back in like 1989, so yeah, it was kind of when it was kicking off big in England, so you know, old school. Old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> So yeah, for, for myself, I first got involved in, in promoting electronic music in Halifax, Nova Scotia in 1998 with AOM Productions. And for the first long while, I uh, spun a uh, psychedelic trance under the name uh, Dr. Zero before moving on to live PA, probably the end of 02 and into 03, performing live as Portal, and then moving into a visual performance in late 03, and that brings me to, to today. What is the biggest draw to you guys uh, when it comes to live PA? I think for, for me it's like um, before I was into electronic music I liked I was very into jazz and rhythm and blues and like, you know, live bands. So um, putting that together with electronic stuff, you know, having that live kind of creating something in the moment thing, you know, that's, that's what appeals to me about it, you know. So I, I just think that um, I mean, it kind of depends, but like when you're doing live PA, you can have a lot more control over all the different nuances of the performance, you know, in a way that you you don't really have that same amount of control if you if you're DJing, you know, if you're playing records, and uh, you know, I mean, you can, you can do a lot of stuff with that, but you've got you know you've got like pre-mixed records basically, you know, so so if you're doing it all with with um, like synthesizers and samplers and stuff, you've got a lot more control over all the different elements, you know. And you can, you know, if you're doing it in a kind of live way, you know, you can you can make it so it's different every time you perform it, you know. So that that really appeals to me, and I, I've really enjoyed seeing other people doing that, you know, people like uh, you know, Orbital 808 State, um, you know, bands like that, uh, Richie Horton when he's doing Plastic Man, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that kind of stuff is really really influential. How about you? Well, yeah, the, the control is definitely a big part of it, just like Jason mentioned. But also, uh, also the big thing too is that with live performance, it's the sense of intimacy that you really have with the crowd, and you really have the opportunity to have that two-way interaction, and also three-way interaction between the music and the media, the crowd and the performers on stage, all blending together and becoming one. There's a, a, a kind of um, technique called neuro-linguistic programming and the, the, the way they approach skills in neuro-linguistic programming is that you go through these four stages. You start off with unconscious incompetence and then you get to the point of conscious incompetence, then you get to uh, conscious competence and then you get to... Uh, to unconscious competence. So once you get to that stage, that unconscious competence, it's like you're you're just kind of realizing an idea without having to think about the, the technology, about the equipment that you're using. You just know it's such a depth that you can just express yourself directly. My piece of advice for anybody that's interested in getting involved in live performance, especially with, with electronic music, is to, to start small, acquire the gear you can, software, whatever tools you want to use that you can, and really take the time to know the equipment you have very, very well. It's not about the gear, it's really about how you use it and how well you can use it to express what you want to express.
mixing I've got, I'm playing at the uh, Victoria Electronic Music Festival in, in August, so looking forward to that. I lived, I lived there for four years before, so uh, yeah, it'd be good to go back and visit old friends and do a show there, so it should be good. Yeah, Jason should have a lot of fun in Victoria. Looks like uh, I'm going to be working with uh, Weep of Mine Eyes, which is uh, the act of Michael Weicker, who's the host of Electronic Music Calgary that did the event tonight. Looks like we'll be doing a show again, probably mid to late September, early October, along those lines. Hopefully we'll be working again together late in the fall as well. Um, you know, th there's a big debate between software and hardware and analog and digital and stuff, but really it's about sort of getting what works for you, I think, you know, because it's all about kind of expressing yourself through the music, really. So, you know, if, if you find something that works for you, then go with that, you know. 